Hi, my name is Maxim and I work as a product manager here at Miro. Today, I have a pleasure of telling you about one cool feature that we have recently launched. It's called Miro Slides. And I know what you're thinking. He's telling me about yet another presentation tool. But hear me out. I think that having presentation on Canvas is extremely powerful. On top of that, we have a few tricks up our sleeves that I think you might like. So hopefully, by the end of this demo, you'll be as excited about this feature as I am. Let's start by talking about how can you find this feature. There are multiple ways, two most important ones. You can click on this plus button in Creation Tools and find Miro slides in a format section. If you are a nerd of slides like I am, you can also pin this tool so that it's always available for you uh, easily. Additionally, you can go to the side panel and create slides from this entry point. There are way more, but I don't want to bore you with that. Now, let's talk about some benefits that this feature gives and some value that it can bring to your day-to-day -day life. The first and most important thing that I want to show you is that it helps organizing and structuring your content on the board. Having frames and presentations on Mira is not new, but it is always such a pain to order everything and then you have manually select all of the frames, position them so that they are aligned. It's annoying. And then if you want to reorder and change uh, the original order of things, it's again quite annoying. You don't have to do this anymore. What you can do is you can select all of the frames that you want to turn into presentation and click create slides. Now you have your slide deck where rearranging is super easy, we keep everything aligned and look professional. Additionally, you can drop more elements anytime you want and you can arrange things in multi-lane, which helps you build a narrative and present your content more appealing for the audience. Obviously, you can create slides from scratch or from a template. To have a template, you simply need to go to the template picker on the left side, navigate to presentation and slide section, and here we have a whole array of templates pre-made for you. Let's say I want to do a marketing proposal. All I need is to click use template and wait for a few seconds for this template to be added to the board. And now I have my bare bones for the future presentation. It is a deck, organized, it's visual on canvas, it has the proper name, and I can start from... Now, I have my good base, but first thing that I want to do is I want to style everything because I'm a professional and I want to make sure that everything looks on brand. There is an easy way to style the whole presentation. Click on three dots, choose styles, and we will open the styles panel for you. Here, I have my brand styles, the style that my company predefined for me. In this particular case, I'm not presenting for Miro, so I want to choose something more playful. Let's choose this palette. I can reshuffle things. I like the way it looks. Now, with structure and style out of the way, my next step would be to start working on the actual content. What I can do is I can click focus mode and go into a focus mode for my presentation. And this is something that you all presentation people should be familiar with. It's a typical presentation mode where we kind of take all of the distractions of Canvas away. You have your deck, on the left side you have all of the slides, you can see where each lane starts, in the center you have your uh, slide that you're working on, below there are speaker notes, and on top you have all of the tools that you need to work. So it's a distraction-free way for you to focus on content creation and not be distracted by everything that's happening on Can. All right, now let's talk about some real use case scenarios where customers are already using Miro Slides for their day-to-day -day work. So let's imagine that you are doing a workshop. You have a whole day of exercises planned for your team, whether it's your team within the company or clients. Previously, what you would have to do is you would have to create a presentation to onboard people into the workshop because people are not always aware what's happening. So you want to give them a presentation and tell them what's the agenda, how are you going to be doing things, and then you would bring them into the Miro board. Now you can do everything in one place. On this particular example, I have my introduction deck that I have created. And now what is cool is that I can copy link to this deck and share with all of my participants. When they open this link, they will be scrolled to this particular presentation. So they're not lost on the board. From there, what I can do is I can click start presentation and every person on the board will join me in this presentation. I can take them through agenda, what's going to happen. But one of the benefits of Miro slides is that it's not just a one way presentation. We can also have icebreakers and some engaging activities 
with again my team members or clients. So this is an example of a slide where people can drop stickies and they can create their ideal pizza. The next slide is another example where we have sticky stacks and people can uh, drop some ideas that they want to discuss. We have alignment widget where every participant can say if they agree with what we're doing or disagree and dot voting where customers and collaborators can vote on specific topics that they want to discuss. And then I can keep on uh, taking people through the deck and where everything is done, I can zoom out, scroll to the next section of the workshop and stop my presentation. And the beauty is that you will take all of the board members together with you. So they will land here so that you don't have to tell people how to navigate. You are controlling what they see and what they do. And now at the end of the day, so you had all of your workshops and people did an amazing job. You used Mira the way you're already using it in a chaotic way of dropping stickers and doing work. And then you want to do a synthesis and analysis of what you did. Again, previously you would have to do it in a different tool and then you would have to share it with people. But now, again, everything happens in one place. So you can have a quick deck where you create a summary using Miro, Miro Docs. Then you can have some alignments. You can talk about next steps. And at the end of the day, again, you can use this alignment widget to say, do you agree with the outcome of the workshop or not? You can have a Q&A, you name it. And then the beauty is that if you're working with clients, oftentimes they require something physical. So they want an artifact. You can easily click on three dots, uh, export this PDF and share this presentation with them so that everything happens in one place in a flow uninterrupted. Another cool use case that I want to share with you is actually the one that we use in Miro. So I told you, I work as a product manager, which means I oftentimes build new products and I need to create those product decks where I align stakeholders on the problem. I work together with my team to define the solution. And then we want to present, gather feedback and take it from there. And this is the example of a deck that I have created for Miro Slides. And again, this is a collaborative effort. I'm not doing everything on my own. So I have a deck where I talk about my team and then I have agenda and I mention who is doing what. So data analytics, Julia and I will do that. And we talk about customer value, that's me. GTM strategy is on Sophia, our great PMM. And then what I do is I create a deck and each lane represents a specific area in the agenda. And then I just put faces of people who are responsible for it. So uh, we know that Sophia knows that she's responsible for GTM strategy. And then we can start co-creating this deck together, have discussions, see things happening in real time, and you know, take it from there. When it's done, again, I can share this deck with all of my stakeholders. We can do presentation and present content. I can even handle things if I want to, and it's just a very convenient way for me to do a presentation. Another cool thing about Miro slides is that when I am presenting, people can leave comments. So in this particular example, when we were talking about GTM strategy and some marketing events, Eileen, my executive, she left some comments for Sophia to ask about specifics of marketing. And she knows that Sophia is responsible for it because this is her name. And Sophia, while I am presenting, can respond. She can invite me to this discussion and we can have a very fruitful way of like taking project from the idea till the very end. All right. One last cool thing that I want to show with you is an ability to import or export your presentations from other tools. So let's say I already have a workshop deck uh, made in PowerPoint or Google Slides. It doesn't really matter. So I can easily drop it on canvas and when it loads, I can yeah resize it to the size that I want and quickly turn it into my slide deck. And again, this is a Google presentation that I have exported as a PDF and just dropped on Canvas. Now I have my deck and I can present. Currently, we only support images, so those this content is not editable. But the cool thing is that I can repurpose existing slides from other decks. So for instance, I want to have a, a presentation where I am asking my stakeholders to align on specific things so I can easily drop those interactive slides, style them so they look nice and then do a presentation and think about it. I have just in a matter of seconds imported a deck outside of Mira into Mira 
turned it into a presentation. I am presenting this content that I already had. And then when we reach this slide, this is something that I have created in Nira, and we can have a fruitful discussion and, you know, bring some interactivity into the deck. And then again, I can export it as a PDF and share with my clients, teammates or executives. So here, here you have it. If you're looking for a simpler, more collaborative way to present, I think Nero Slides is for you. And as I said, I hope that now you are as excited about this feature as I am. So thank you for being with me and have a great day.